so tell me, uh, how long have you guys had this car? It'll be 16 years in August. 16 years, yeah, well, a long time. And and what was it like when you first got it? Uh, I need a lot of work. Yeah. About uh, I think we paid a certain amount, and we probably put in oh three quarters more. Yeah. So it's a lot of we put a lot of money in to get yeah. it this nice. It's, it looks really, really nice. Thank you. Really good. Thank you. Uh, but it's got something special that most of them don't have, right? Something uh, in the back. Oh, you want to see the signatures? Yeah, we want to see those. Oh, okay. Yeah. Super cool. Here we go. We're gonna look at the Roscoe car too. Ah, uh, what we got here looks like John Schneider, huh? Yeah, it's a Stephen. Keep it between the ditches. John Schneider bow, <laughs> eleven twenty ten. Has he been keeping it between the ditches? Yes, sir. We yeah. uh, just take it easy. Yeah. Don't go over two hundred miles an hour. Right. And we yeah. have a good time. Uh, jumps uh, anything less than six feet. It's pretty mm -hmm. good. Pretty safe. Maybe six inches. Six inches. <laughs> and then who's this one? Uh, that was Coy Duke Byron Cherry. Is it to Stephen Yeha, Coy Duke Byron Cherry, eleven twenty three fifteen? Now you were telling me that another one of these sold recently. Uh, apparently, a Bear Jackson one that was like totally original, like the show ours, right. has some different features. Yeah, like ours doesn't have the black back like in the TV show. Right, and yeah. our interior is black. It's yeah. not beige, but it sold apparently. Was at the Baird Jackson about a month ago? Right, two hundred forty-five thousand. Two hundred and forty-five thousand dollars. Yeah, for, for an orange. Well, it was a '68 modified to '69. This is '69. Yeah. yeah. And then it was like five signatures instead of two. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, like, yeah, a lot of money. What, what do you What do you think adds value to a car like this? I think time. Yeah. Because as time goes on, a lot of people they have those fond memories of such a great show. Yeah. And out of all these years, 16 years, I had one person upset about the Confederate flag. Yeah. One. Yeah. And it uh, doesn't matter the it race. It was a TV show. Yeah. yeah. And, and a movie. Yeah. yeah. And the folks that see it, they love it. Yeah. They, they get brings back the good memories. It has the Dixie horn. Oh, let's see. Can, I blow can we hear blow? that? Yeah. Here, I'll close this. this. But now, that's how a real truck sounds. <laughs> that's how a real truck sounds. Real metal. Here's the bus. That's good. Yeah. That's good. So, uh, do you have any uh, any issues with cops, other oh. than other than this one right here? Well, no, I did one time. Yeah, I was chased for about a quarter of a mile. Yeah, because I honked the horn, and he, and he didn't like that I honked the horn. <laughs> Honestly, and he said, "Don't, don't blow that horn." Yeah, he just he just give you a warning. Yeah, yeah, it was a warning. Oh, and one of the one, the officer in the passenger seat, my wife and I have owned an art gallery and framing shop for years. Yeah, he knew me. Oh, there you I go. did custom framing for him, so <laughs> I was off the hook. There you go. But man. no, this car is uh, a family car, and yeah. Stephen found a lot of the parts when we built it. Yeah, and like I said, it came twenty five percent done. The yeah. gentleman ran out of money, so here's advice: yeah. if you buy a collector car, don't buy it on layaway. Yeah, make sure you have the pink slip in hand. And it's done. Oh, yeah. Because this guy ran out of money, and he wanted to put it on eBay if I didn't send him some more money, and it wasn't done. Yeah. So he gave us a little better deal. We got it and put a lot more money into it. There you go. Great job. Great job. Looks really good. Thank you, Fireball.